Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport and another episode of One Race Wonders, episode 19 in fact. Playlist in the description below and today we have an interesting one to cover. As he is more famous as a TV presenter than a Formula 1 driver and has participated in a whole bunch of different motorsport series. So if you are a fan of Tiff Nadell, stick around as we look at the story of his one appearance in Formula 1. So remember to subscribe and sit back, relax and let's begin. Sport. Tiffany Dale began his career in Formula Ford in the 1970s, like most young drivers dreaming of Formula One. He managed to win a Lotus 69 FF in an Autosport magazine competition. I won a nice pen in a competition once, Tiff won a car. But this car launched his career. Even after he sold it to buy an Eldon MK10, he would later rebuy the Lotus in 2015 obviously feeling some attachment to it. He had success in Formula Ford and moved on to Formula 3 and British Formula 1 Aurora through the rest of the 1970s. What I would say about Tiff's early race career is that there are very few victories along the way. In fact, there are only a handful over his whole career. He would score the odd podium at Formula 3 level, but never really had the top line talent to really challenge for wins or even championships. He raced in the British Formula 1 Championship in 1979 for the Graham Eden Racing Team and scored a second place in the first race at Zolda. It was at this time he first attempted to race in Formula 1, but he was not able to due to not having the right licence, so after a disappointing year in British Formula 1 that only saw one other points finish in the final round of the year, good enough for 10th in the Championship, he'd only take part in two races in 1980, a second place at the non-Championship Selangor Grand Prix in Malaysia a race he did manage pole position and fastest lap, but finished behind New Zealander Graham Lawrence. But ahead of the notable talent of Sonny Raja of Singapore, who I'd never heard of but has apparently won the Malaysian Grand Prix three times, this somehow led to Tiff Nadell getting a drive with the Ensign team in Formula 1, a small team that had been racing at the top level for a few years without much success. By 1980 they had had some great drivers through the door, with the likes of Chris Amon, Clay Regazzoni, Jackie Ix, a debuting Nelson Piquet and Mark Sura, among others, all having a go with the little Ensign team. But results were thin on the ground with a few 5th and 6th place finishes here and there. Ensign would only have one car for the majority of 1980 and Tiff Nadell took over from Clay Regazzoni who had been paralysed after a crash at Long Beach. Nidel managed to qualify for the Belgian Grand Prix at Zolda in 23rd, beating former champion Emerson Fittipaldi, although he was in the later stages of his career racing for his brother's team. There isn't really anything to say about the race. Tiff Nadell survived the opening laps and was puttering around happily at the back of the field before his engine let go on lap 12. He was given another drive of Ensign at the Monaco Grand Prix, but failed to qualify. Only 20 cars made it to the Grand Prix and Tiff Nadell only managed 26th of 27, 5 seconds off pole, but just 1.7 off René Arnoux's Renault in 20th. With that, Tiff Nadell's Grand Prix career was over, after just 12 laps at Zolda and some qualifying at Monaco. At the next round, he was replaced by Dutchman Jan Lammers and Tiff never returned to Formula 1. Not that Lammers fared any better at Ensign as the team scored no points in 1980. Over the next 40 years, Tiff Nadell turned his hand to a whole bevy of different race series. He had his first go at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1981, joining Tony Trimmer in an Ian Bracey, Ibeck Heskef. They retired after 95 laps, but Nadell's best result was a third place in an Alpha Racing Porsche with David Sears and Anthony Reid in 1990. He won four races in the 1987 Saab Turbo Challenge, a series that also featured a very young Damon Hill, he also had a British touring car win in 1987. He'd appear in the British touring cars in the 90s with the Nissan team and was even involved in a famous crash with Nigel Mansell in the 1993 Toka shootout. He'd also continued to make appearances in GT racing and endurance racing, taking a win in a British GT race in a Lister Storm in 2000. Ever since then he has competed mostly in historic races and seems to be enjoying himself. Strangely for a Formula 1 driver, Tiff Nadell is probably better known as a TV presenter than he is a racer. He got a job on the original Top Gear in 1987 
after commentating on Formula 2 races with Murray Walker. Top Gear wanted a motorsport correspondent and Tiff Dell fit the bill. He struck up a strong friendship with outspoken car critic Jeremy Clarkson, but left the show after it was briefly cancelled in 2001 and joined the brand new Fifth Gear on Channel 5. He was associated with that show until leaving in 2019 and will soon be starting a brand new car show based around his YouTube channel, Love Cars. So that was the Formula 1 career of One Race Wonder Tiff Nadell. If you want to check out more of the One Race Wonder playlist, there is a link in the description. Please remember to subscribe, leave a comment down below, like and share the video. Thank you for watching and have a good one.